Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is the biggest reason many relationships work out. And that is couples who play together stay together. The biggest thing that you can have that makes your relationship go on for many, many years is that you are best friends with each other. It's one thing to love your partner, but it's another thing to really like them. If you can have a lot of fun with your partner and playful situations all the time, your relationship just keeps building because when you do things together, you grow together as a couple. We all sit back and look at some of our past relationships and why they didn't work out. And probably one of the biggest reasons why it didn't work out is you grew apart. Or maybe you had different interests, you did different things, and you weren't on the same page as where your partner was at that particular stage in your life. And this is, is also another big thing. You have to be both ready and willing to commit. You have to put in the time. When you do fun things together, you grow together. You don't grow apart because you're always enhancing what you have between you. You're keeping it fresh and keeping it alive because you both care to put in the work to do so. You understand how much fun it is when you can go out and do something different all the time. And it doesn't have to be a big thing. A lot of people think, oh, you have to go and do all these elaborate scenarios to keep your relationship fresh. But you don't. Sometimes it's just a simple little thing that you might do. Take a cooking class together. Something completely out of the box of what you normally would do. It could just be having a regular date night each week and you take turns planning it. Or it could be where you've got one big thing in the year that you look forward to on top of all the little things that you plan out and you make happen. The two of you putting energy into making this, this adventure happen. And when you have something to look forward to in your partnership, it always keeps a little spring in your step. There doesn't become this boring, mundane, everyday existence because you're putting time and effort into doing something that isn't just inside your home or taking care of your home. When you play at the same thing and you're both learning at the same time, you always have something to talk about. And that's what makes it really special. There's no complacency in your relationship because you're both putting effort in. It's not one person, your buddies, your friends. The next thing is, it's not just about, you know, couples play together, stay together. There's also people who stay intimate with each other. It doesn't have to mean sex five days a week. It can mean affection. It can mean when you're out doing something playful together, you laugh, you hold hands, you're, you're kissing each other, you're, you're just really enjoying your time with them. And it automatically brings intimacy into your life because you're not bored. You're having so much fun. And it kind of gives you that little bit of a, you know, as I said earlier, that spring in your step and you want to take it further. So playing together is another step to having intimacy together. And that's why it's super important not to lose that fun part of who you were when you first met. If you both take time to keep that going, you're going to have a really big percentage of being able to stay together with each other and like being together. You're not staying together for the kids. You're not staying together because you don't want to be alone. You're staying together because you actually like each other. Like, isn't that just the perfect thing? But unfortunately, so many people just don't put that time and energy into making their relationship a fun priority. They start looking at it as if it's, you know, the same old thing, it's routine, it's boring. Well, don't let it be boring. Don't let it be boring. If you start your relationship out that way and always have a little goal or something simple that you're doing each week or every couple of weeks with each other, you will always stay connected. I've had a few clients who've told me that it's, sometimes it's just really hard to be intimate with the time they don't have this much time or, or they just feel like it, they're seeing the same person every day. It doesn't really give them that excitement. If you plan romantic dates, take turns planning romantic dates, that can really help. Cause I get it. I get that, you know, when you're 
you do live together and you've been together 10, 15, 20 years, it's hard to keep those fires burning sometimes. You take turns surprising each other with things like this. And that can help get the intimacy back on track. Look good for each other, dress up for each other. Don't just come home and put your sweatpants on and not make an effort. All those little things will keep, keep you in a romantic, sexual sort of way of thinking. If you don't do any of those things, of course it's going to fizzle in the romance department. It, nobody said it wasn't work. Nobody said it's easy to maintain a long-term relationship. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty cool and it's pretty simple. Just make sure that you're both on the same page, you're both putting energy and effort into it because it's not great when it's only a one-way street. You don't want to always be the one that has to keep everything going. You want your partner as invested as you are in maintaining the longevity of your partnership. So just remember, playing together is a really, really good way to keep your relationship flourishing. It really helps. And another wonderful thing is sometimes you learn new things about yourself that you never even thought maybe you wanted to try something that they suggested and you go out there and you give it a chance and you realize, wow, there's another thing we have in, in common as a couple and we can do it together. So these are the best things that you can implement into a relationship from the very beginning. And if you keep it going throughout all the time you have together, the chances of you living as a happy couple are really, really good. So thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments or any questions you have below the video here. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.